We've shown you the public side of our building, now we'll show you behind the scenes. Hi, I'm Beth Hecker, Jackson County District Attorney, and this is our new District Attorney's building. Please come in for a tour. Diana Hamilton, our Victim Assistance Director. Diana, can you tell them a little bit about the program? The Jackson County Victims Assistance Program is one of the divisions of the Jackson County District Attorney's Office. The Victims Assistance Program is designed to ensure that as victims go through the criminal justice process, they are informed of their rights, they are supported through the process, and they understand what's happening during the criminal justice process. When a victim chooses to go to a trial, they might be here all day or multiple days. To make their stay here more comfortable, we have a room called the Family Room. When families have to go to a trial, we give them the key to this room and it becomes their place to be during the trial. This is Diana Del Rio. She's the director of our Family Support Program. Diana, can you tell them a little bit about our program? Yes, um, I would be happy to do that. So this is the Family Support Program and the services that we offer here are we will help you establish a child support order, we will modify an existing order if you have one, we will establish paternity if that is something you need, and then we go further and we enforce on those child support orders in a variety of different ways. So right now I'm standing in the child support our lobby here and so if you come in for services you would come up to this reception desk fill out an intake form and one of our case managers who would be assigned to your case will come and assist you and what they will do is they will meet with you back here in this uh, confidential secure interview area these are our, our two interview stations and while you're having your questions answered and being served. Hopefully your children will be occupied with this nice little uh, play area that we have for them and you'll be able to get all your questions answered and get the services that you're needing. One of the great features of this new building is we've got conference rooms and we've got a training room. So we're in our training room now. In the training room we can do um, webinars and hold uh, staff meetings in here as well. And we've been able to collaborate with our community partners and have uh, meetings about a variety of different topics. One of the benefits for our employees is our break room, where they can eat their meals, visit with coworkers, and take their designated breaks. When we designed this part of the district attorney's office, we designed it specifically for grand jury. So victims or witnesses who are called a grand jury would come into this area. This is the grand jury waiting area. You'll wait here until you're called into the proceedings. An advocate will meet you here and answer any questions you might have. We're in the grand jury room. The grand jury consists of seven citizens selected by the court to hear criminal cases. All testimony is taken under oath. On the second floor of the district attorney's office is where the criminal division is located. All of the deputy district attorney's offices and support staff are located on this floor. If a witness or a victim comes to the window, appropriate staff will come and meet you and then take you into a private interview room where they can talk with you confidentially. On this floor, we also have a law library that we often use for media interviews. We've shown you the public side of our building. Now we'll show you behind the scenes. This is the criminal division. The support staff are in the middle and the deputy district attorneys are around the outside edge. Thanks. One of the things we wanted to do in the new building was to honor previous district attorneys. So we've located photos of them dating back to 1912. That concludes our tour of the Jackson County District Attorney's Office. It's a pleasure to work here and an honor to serve you. Thank you.